skin Summer's golden hour Mid by midnight shower all right, that's it for us here at Clarence. This place is situated just outside of Ashby on, in northern New South Wales. Plenty of space here. There's a um, big green field for you to set up in. Lots of space between campers. And then over the back, you've got a little hill covered in bush. In the morning, you can just hear the birds going off. Absolutely stunning. And uh, at night time, you can see the town across the river. All the lights light up. Absolutely beautiful. So for $10 a night, it's not a bad spot to stop in if you're looking for somewhere to stay. We are here. As we continued north, we went through our first major city since Melbourne. We'd grown quite accustomed to towing the caravan, but four lanes of peak hour traffic in a city you're not familiar with adds an extra little bit of complexity. Next stop was a low-cost camp just north of Brisbane in Burpengarry. With a good life. By the time we arrived at West Cloud Lodge, it was dark, so we slid into our campsite and called it a night. West Cloud Lodge is set on 40 acres in Burpengary East, two minutes from the Bruce Highway, making it an ideal overnighter. The caretaker mentioned that koalas are regularly spotted amongst gum trees, but we weren't so lucky. After a later start, we took off to the Sunshine Coast. The warmth upon my skin. We've just had four, well this is our fourth night here at the Ingenia River Shore. Um, I believe it's in Dillabar or John will pop, pop, put the info down but this place is great. It is more of a resort than a caravan park. Yeah, we could um, slides here with the um, pool and little kiddie pool as well and it's just really well maintained so it's been a good stop for us to get some washing done, some schoolwork, catch up on some chores and just enjoy ourselves. Okay, another good way to save some money on the road is to cut your kids' hair. So um, each of these little boys costs about $25 to get their hair cut. Or I can do it myself for nothing. Um, I did actually just go and buy a proper pair of hair cutting scissors from um, the shaver shop. So these are $65. Um, but at least I know that I'm going to get a nice clean cut. And um, yeah, the boys are really good. They sit there and have a little bit of iPad time. and. Yeah, I like doing it actually, so we'll see how they go. With me, said, are you with me? Let's escape this storm. I have a haircut. I'm a... You're what? Hey. All right, so haircut's all done. That took a lot longer than I remember, but I've only cut his hair once before, so. We think he looks pretty good. We're happy with it. And, um... Yeah. It's um, going to be a lot easier to look after, hey? Yeah. He's happy because he got the iPad. Yeah, so we've just come down to the Buddha and Forest today. Um, wanted to get away from the caravan park for a little bit and check out a bit of the surrounding area. This place is absolutely stunning. 
beautiful little walk through the trees as you come down. And then when you get down here, you got the falls, probably about, I don't know, it's probably a good 10 metres high. Water running over at the moment, and you can go for a swim in the pool, but we're going to keep looking. I've been talking about getting out of town. Alright, so I asked Elle to navigate us to the Bundaberg ginger beer place, but instead she took us to the Bundaberg rum place. We're not really big rum drinkers, but uh, we went in and checked it out. It looks pretty cool. You can really smell the molasses in the air. You can see it in the background there rising over the factory. What do you think? Yeah, it was a nice building, nice interesting stop, but uh, didn't sell any ginger beer. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll hit the road again. We'll go try and find that one. Yeah. You feel the fear of losing everything Like walking round with broken glass in the dark Try to bury all those memories You light the match and watch the whole world burn We're smelling the smell, come here and I'll show you what I mean This is ginger, so I smell it and it smells disgusting. <laughs> Come and it smell this is lemon. It smells like lemon. <laughs> Alright, well we've got our little haul of Bundaberg drinks. Pretty cool in there. So many different flavours and uh, the displays are really well done. And the kids really enjoyed checking out all the interactive uh, little areas so yeah we've got a few different flavours to taste and a few cold ones for the beach. Man I can see the unrest while you're starting from the back of the line See the loss of innocence what do these rocks remind you of, Brian? I don't know. Have a look at them. Okay, a big mountain and it goes... Volcanoes! Yeah. Hey? Why? Why? There used to be a volcano near here. Yeah, not far from this beach. And all these rocks are volcanic rocks. That's why they look like this. They look black. Whoa. And... Sort of got the holes and stuff. It's old lava. Okay, so when we were um, at the visitor's centre earlier today, we got talking to the guy that worked there, and he said that not far from here there's a lookout that isn't that big anymore, but it used to be an old volcano, and he mentioned that all the rocks down here on the beach are from the old lava flow. And you look at them, and they really do look like, you know, volcanic rocks. They've got the, the air bubbles in them, they're that, that dark black rock. And for me, with having a scientific background, it's, I find it fascinating because as far as I'm aware, there's no active volcanoes in Australia anymore. And um, just that geological history of what used to be in this area and how the land has changed and, and, and everything has changed over time, over millions of years, absolutely stunning. But you come here and you can see that, that mark in history of just how the different landscape is formed and everything else with the, the different rocks and geology and everything else here. I find it fascinating, but if you're interested in that kind of stuff, this is a pretty cool little beach. Beautiful river that comes down here. When you get a rainfall that comes through, obviously this river will be flowing a bit more. But the beach itself is stunning as well. Nice big stretch of sand that just bends around the bay. So, Kelly Beach, if you're looking for somewhere to go, check it out.
got no issues, it's kinda nice Like running water into a paradise Welcome to Reddy Creek Reserve and the Paperbark Forest Boardwalk. On the trail you will encounter stepping stones, narrow walkways and rough surfaces. Do not proceed if trail is flooded. Enjoy only as far as prevailing conditions and your personal abilities safely allow. Duration 10 minutes. come down to the paperbark forest and this place is really pretty. Um, it's probably the best known thing here in Agnes Waters. When we heard about Agnes Waters we heard about this place and it is worth a, a stop. It's a quick trip. I think it took us about five minutes to walk through the little wooden pathways and cement pylons. Um, we were lucky that there was a little bit of water surrounding the pylons so it is quite magical with the ferns in the background and the climbing vines and the palm trees and of course the paperbark trees so it reminds me of my childhood playing down in South Perth with the paperbark trees um, but it's a really pretty spot. <laughs> just come down to Chinaman's Beach. Just giving Al a bit of time in the van by herself. Um, she's still doing housework and chores and stuff, but it's always good to just have a bit of quiet time away from the kids. So we come down to this beach, check it out. It's quite a nice beach. You've got a whole stretch of sand here. And then on the other side, there's a whole heap of rocks to go explore. Um, the way the trees are and stuff, it's like there's a few little cubbies for the kids to go play in and winding tracks and big hills and rocks. So yeah, it's a, it's a good one to bring the kids down, burn off a bit of energy, and uh, have a bit of an explore. We've just been down to Chalman's Beach, and it's amazing. So, make sure you go there, and it's beautiful. So, get there at the night, and it'll be like stunning and good. Oh, we've just come down to the 1770 Sunday markets and we absolutely love the markets. Um, it's just got such a good feel. You can get food, you can get fruit and veg um, and see all the local craft on offer. And this place didn't disappoint. We um, had a really good time. John got some new thongs and, and we got some fruit and veg. So yeah, Sunday morning, every second week, maybe a few extra in the holidays. Um, definitely worth a visit. Just a boy on a hilltop Count sheep to pass the time Right, under the lee of this point, Lieutenant James Cook landed on the 24th of May, 1770. Say, just out there somewhere, the ship's pulled up. Just a boy in a pasture Working in the mountains Oh, we've come down to 1770 this afternoon and this place is just so relaxing. You drive in, you see these beautiful sand banks with calm water and boats everywhere. There's people fishing and stand up paddle boarding and crabbing. It's just a beautiful relaxing spot. We've parked up at the Captain Cook Monument just up the hill here and there's a campground around the corner which is super packed and you can see why. This place just instantly relaxes you. Every stone of his remembrance let the record show Just a boy with conviction He 
Come down to the 1770 lookout and the views here are pretty spectacular. It's what I imagine the Whitsundays would look like. It's just that picturesque, calm water, sandbanks and mountains and it's just really pretty. So um, if you walk all the way to the end, it's kind of rough seas on one side and calm and relaxed on the other. It's a pretty little spot. Oh. 